Tons is going crypto investing. And once again, we're going through the greater Sterling Heights metropolitan area. And the great state of Michigan. And you can see the beautiful holiday lights that they got up here in downtown Sterling Heights on this very early, late November, seasonably mild and depressing with no chances of snow in the foreseeable future as we have a mild stretch continuing after a dominating Michigan football victory over the criminal gangsters and the henchmen, Ryan Day, uh, down there in Columbus on Saturday, Saturday early Saturday afternoon. Uh, the celebratory things continue. Check out college football news, link down in the description. You can see the US dollar is declining this morning, but the Bitcoin price is also declining this morning. As you can see the Bitcoin price over the weekend, the holiday weekend as expected, not a lot of updates because not a lot of things happened. It was basically stagnant and the price is essentially at the same spot it was uh, when the holiday weekend started. You can see we're just above the 16,000 559.99 which is the bottom part of a major support resistance blue trading box that we've been trying to hold support on ever since the great dump and the FTX collapse of early November right now we're at late November and you can see we're sitting here trying to bounce again on a futile bounce trying to get back above these moving averages right here and then maybe pump more to the upside but that's currently what we're looking at you're trying to pump right here and you have to get back on top of these moving averages or the bearish sentiment and the bearish uh, momentum and the bearish continuations will continue right and then if we break this critical area here breach this little line that we put down here because these are the three swing bottoms you have an 11,469.49 uh, most likely target as we would flush through that $13,336 Bitcoin price target we've had for essentially a year and a half now uh, as the price has been working its way down you can see Cardano is essentially the same spot we were last week when we closed off for the holiday weekend. Oh, we did have a huge pump here. Look at that. See the big wick pump? So sometime Sunday, we had a magnificent, phenomenal, uh, bullish pump where it wicked all the way up here to 10 and a half cents, that major upper resistance we were talking about. But it quickly, within the same hour time frame, turned around and is now lower by several percent to 10 percent than it was pre-pump. And now if you can't get some stability here and pump back up, you're going to come all the way down to the seven and a half cents after this phenomenal pump right here that I'm sure suckered in in the hour and 15 minute time frame over the weekend when nothing else was going on. I'm sure this suckered a ton of people in on a massive pump in an hour time frame just to quickly reverse itself as quick as it pumped. It turned lower than it was when it started pumping you can see the price down here and pre-pump we were up there right so it suckered people in and did what it was supposed to do in a ferocious bear market rally could that happen in the xrp price to 50 cents it is absolutely possible and that's something we've been watching after the great uh early november dump uh with the rest of the market we're still sitting on top of that 37 cents and as long as you're on top of that 37 cents you can try to get back above these moving averages, but they're starting to decline and descend. And as long as you're below these moving averages in the shorter time frame, you're bearish and you need to pump up back above those moving averages in the shorter time frame to try to get short term bullish and have some kind of spectacular pump like XLM had. But if you get below this 37 cents, you're coming back down here to the top part of the red trading zone and the 32 cent major underneath support between 32 and 29. And as you do know, if you break that, you hit our end of the year target of uh, 18 to 20 cents, which has been on here for quite some time, right? As we've been predicting a massive uh, dump that has been taking place in the XRP price for the last eight to 10 months, really the last 12 months, uh, 18 months. It's been about a year, year and a half, even though we had a big bear market rally in between there, but it's been consistently down now for a year. And you can see there, we're sitting on that support level and that's what you got to hold if you want to continue to be bullish if you don't hold that you're gonna have a lot of bearish action in the short term and that's what's going on here very early this weekly open trading right peace and love for the future updates and breaking news and a great uh educational thing i got coming out on something big that happened over the weekend peace and love stay up to date for that update to come out later on today